Now, for the last year or so, I have been almost passionately ignoring the Mills McCartney divorce story. <laughs> the breakdown of any marriage is tragic on one level or another, particularly when there are children involved, and boy, are there children involved. No offence, Heather, but my two-year-old daughter has more dignity than you, and she shits her own pants and doesn't even care. <laughs> But the vitriol aimed at Heather Mills has astonished me. It was decided by the People's Kangaroo Court some time ago that she's the guilty party, plus she didn't write Let It Be, so it's fine to laugh at the fact that she lost a limb in a road accident. It's all very sad, so I've ignored it. Until now. Here's what Heather Mills said yesterday about taking her daughter on holiday just after she'd been awarded £24.3 million! Pounds. Beatrice only gets £35,000 a year. And so she obviously is meant to travel B-class while her father travels A-class. Beatrice is four! <laughs> <laughs> 24 .3 million quid. That's it. I've left you alone for a, a, almost a year, which nearly got me kicked out of the Comedians' Union, by the way. But seriously, holy shit! What planet are you living on, Mills? For a start, there's no such thing as A-class and B-class, you blinky nut job. <laughs> Secondly, if for some reason it's important for your four-year-old daughter to travel, I believe the term is first class, and she can always spend some of the £35,000 a year her dad will be sending her. Or, hey, you could always treat her because you have 24 million fucking pounds! <laughs> I tell you, Heather Mills and Abu Hamza are the reason no one trusts amputees anymore. <laughs> no. If it, weren't, if it weren't for Lieutenant Dan from Forrest Gump, I don't know where they'd be. <laughs> it's very hard to hear someone claim they care a lot for charity and then tell you £24 million isn't enough reward for getting married to someone whose money it is. Her reputation after this trial is not too solid. The judge called her a fantasist and generally found most of her claims unreliable. She claimed Paul was insensitive to her disability. How? Did he constantly force her to do the hokey-cokey? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> She also claimed that he held her career back. Yeah, because Heather Mills was a household name before she got involved with that, um... Oh, who's that bloke? You know, he was in a band, strummy, piano-y, sing -y sort of fella. And not only this, but at the end of the trial, clearly upset at only having won £24 million, she tipped a jug of water over Paul McCartney's lawyer for making unpleasant comments. Bloody hell, if she does that to everyone who's been rude about her, the global drought crisis will be accelerated by 50 years. <laughs> Thing is, Heather Mills is so deluded, she probably thought the water would make Paul's barrister go, No, I'm melting! <laughs> My lovely law! Still, I've got to say, the wet barrister look, woof. That woman's... <laughs> yeah, seriously, she's a bilf. 